so cool and crazy and wild and upside down. I'm bored and that's not fun. I want to get away, but I'm too tired to run. I'm gonna find a place where there are no rules and the world is wild. I have the tools to make things happen and the reaction will explode. I go on the world with the sand. I just heard this great news story about Nick. Oh, me too! Nick stories are the best! <laughs> oh, man! Not again! I accidentally dropped my homework in there! I don't know, Eric. This kid Nick reached in there once. He got garbage hands for a month. Class, who can tell me the answer to this equation? Pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, I know, I know, pick me, pick me, pick me. Really? Here, better use this. Thanks, Eric. No problem, Eric. Hmm, garbage hands. Have you heard that story about Nick and that big can of beans? <laughs> that reminds me of that Nick story. <laughs> Gotta go! Gotta go! Steven! You can't go in there! It's the cow's bathroom! Yeah, so? This kid Nick went in there once, and he was never the same again. After that, every time someone made him laugh... <gasps> <laughs> milk squirted out of his ears. Of course, I hear that ear milk is quite tasty. Mm. Ear milk? Whatever. I know there's no 19th floor, but I still think I can reach it. But don't you remember what happened to Nick? Hold on. Let's go back. I've been hearing these stories forever about this Nick kid. And you know what? There is no Nick. I'll prove it. He's not in any of the school yearbooks. What about the week books? The yearbooks that come out each week. Check them. Nothing there either. And the Wayside Minute books? Yeah, but what's up with these? Ow! Ugh. Wow, those books are really up to date. See? No Nick. I checked the school's records. <laughs> Just five more minutes, Mom. I also checked the lost and found. Nope. Nope. Definitely not. And I didn't find a thing that belonged to Nick. I even asked Bebe to sketch Nick. Yeah, that's definitely his hair. Nick has bigger teeth. Ooh, how about some pointy ears? But no one could agree on what Nick looked like. And, ladies and gentlemen, do you know why? Because Nick is just some myth kids made up to explain things they don't understand. I don't understand. See, my point exactly. You can blame Nick, use him as an excuse, or just have some fun at his expense. That doesn't prove anything. It especially doesn't prove anything about Nick and the 19th floor. 
Never happened. It's impossible. Like most of his stories. Watch. See, it can't be done. The story's a fake. So is the myth. That's not how Nick did it, is it? Of course not. Todd, you really need to get your facts straight. Oh, is that right? I'll show you some facts about Nick and the can of beans story. <gasps> See? Nick didn't turn into a giant bean monster. Well, it was a different can of beans. And you still didn't prove anything. Okay, but I can disprove that Nick story about the cow bathroom. Todd, stop! Don't you know what happened when Nick went in there? I do. Mmm, ear milk. Oh, brother. Todd, you can't go in there. I may never see you again. I'll be fine, Mauricia. Like I said, these Nick stories are fake. But you don't know that for sure, Todd. What if this is our last moment together? Forever! I can't let you go in there without one last special kiss. <gasps> huh? What's the big deal? I can't believe he's gone. I'll never wash this fist again. Oh, to live, to love, to punch. It's all too much. Hey. Todd, you're alive. I'm ready for my air milk now. No, it's not like that at all. It's just a plain old bathroom in there that some cows use. What? That can't be. Everyone knows Nick came out of there and was never the same again. Do I look any different? No! Aw, and I was so thirsty. See? It's all just some dumb story. None of these Nick things ever happened. And like I said, there is no Nick. Get it? Got it. Stupid story. Can't believe I believe that. Hey, don't look so down. Knowing the truth is a good thing, right? But I thought that was the truth. I'll miss Nick. Hey, don't worry. It's like that time Nick did the great thing. Oh, what's the use? Forget it. And you know what, guys? If you really want to tell a story, you can always tell it about me, right? I mean, I did some of those Nick things too. Guys, what did I do? Who knew they could be so attached to a fake kid and his fake stories? <laughs> Huh? Oh, hey, Todd, dude. Whoa, you look bummed. Big time. What's going on? Ah, uh, nothing. Just this stupid kid Nick everyone talks about. Stupid? Well, yeah. I mean, I finally proved he's fake, but that just made it all worse. Oh, wait. That reminds me of this time Nick was going to school here. Ah, please. No more Nick stories. No, this is a good one, dude. Listen. This kid Nick... He loved Wayside so much. He said, dude, I love Wayside so much. I never want to leave. Yeah, and then what happened? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he stayed. Got the best job in the entire world. Lewis, what's with your arm? Oh, man, I hate garbage hands. Whoa. Hey, Nick did that too. Wait a minute. You're Nick? Shh, keep it hush, dude. You really are? And you exist? Of course I do. Nick's my middle name, but that's besides the point. What do you mean? You exist. And those stories, are they real? A few are. The kids just make up the rest as they need them. But doesn't that bother you? I mean, that they're not even true? They're true enough. I guess kids like telling them. Nick must be good for something. I wouldn't want to ruin anything for him. Yeah, like I did. I think I've messed up Nick for everyone. Well, we'll see about that.
Guys, you're never gonna believe this news about Nick. Oh, oh no! Ugh, come on, Todd. We already know he doesn't exist. Blah, 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 ruin my day. Thanks for nothing. No, but he does exist. I have proof. What? Proof. Tell us! Remember how I went into the cow bathroom before, just like Nick? At first, I thought I proved this story was fake, but now... Moo! Whoa! That's, That's just what happened to Nick! Exactly! And he really does exist! What about the other stories? Like the one about the 19th floor? Is that true too? Well, true enough. <laughs> okay, Louis, shut it off! 10 4, Todd Meister. Uh oh. <gasps> Whoa! 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 <gasps> Wait! The milk's not really coming out of Todd's ear? <laughs> yeah, uh, about that. Um. It explains everything. It does? Duh, Todd! That must be exactly what the cows did to Nick! Hmm, true enough. Yeah! Wow, Todd, you made that old Nick story even better! Yeah, by making it a Todd story! Well, I couldn't have done it without Nick. <laughs> Good morning, Todd. Oh, uh, hey, Mauricia. It's really nice to see you. Um, thanks. <laughs> oh, good morning, 344 South Fairview. Mr. K, I have a problem with Mauricia. Sorry, 344. I don't do problems anymore. That's Dr. Dana's job. Dr. Who? Got problems? I don't care. But Dr. Data does! Wayside's radio advice problem solver on the PA! Hello, listeners, and welcome to the Dr. Dana Show. Broadcasting live, high atop Wayside. And I'm here to help solve your problems. And I'm here to help Dana! Myron, thanks. But I don't need your help right now. You can stay, but you have to be quiet. So let's... Okie dokie! <sighs> so let's get started. Caller 1, you're on the air. Yes, Dr. Data, I feel like people never get to know the real me. All they ever see are my feet. Caller 1, your toes have a tail to tell. Learn to express yourself more through your feet. Well, that's a great idea. Thanks. Problem solved. Oh, oh good answer. Good answer. Can I help now? Myron. Shh. Okay, next. So sorry. Next caller. Dr. Dana, there's this boy. Let's call him Todd. I like him, but I'm not sure if he likes me. Do you ever show him you like him? Oh, yes. I hit him all the time. Hmm, you hit him. Right in the shoulder. I've seen her. <laughs> Men are hunters. If you hunt them, they won't be interested. Let him come to you. So I should avoid him. Then Todd, <gasps> uh, I mean, Todd, will come to me? Absolutely. Give him lots of space. He'll miss your pretty face. Of course. It rhymes. It must work. Problem solved. Next caller. Uh, uh, am I on the air? Yep, this is Dr. Dana, and we're on the air. Dr. Dana, now that you're solving all those snot-nosed brats' problems, I have nothing to do. Maybe you should take up a hobby. Really? How do you do that? Just pick your favorite thing that you like to do and do it. But what if you have two favorite things? Then do both. Problem solved. That's it. I'll do my two favorite things. Stamp collecting and cooking. Don't worry. It's happened to all of us. You just need to remember. Shampoo, rinse, then conditioner. Look, Dana, no hands. Mauricia's giving me a lot of space. Gee, I miss her pretty face. Hey, 
Hey, Mauricia! Wait, there's an empty seat here. Thank you, Dr. Dana. And my advice to you would be to go with a mixture of Kentucky bluegrass and fine fescue. Dude, I, I mean, Doc, thanks for helping me fix the school lawn. Dana, are you okay? No, I get it. You're all out of advice. Thank goodness I'm here to help you out. Hello, listeners. The doctor is in the house. Dana, you can stay, but you have to be quiet. So until the doctor cures her laryngitis, she wants me to fill in for her. So let's solve those problems. Next caller. Hi, Doc D. Uh, Myron? I was just wondering, which is more important, spiritual freedom or physical freedom? Um. Oh, all freedom is, uh, important. And to best experience it, you should place a basket over your head. A basket over my head? That's what Dr. Dana says. Problem solved. Well, if Dr. Dana says so. Next caller. When is Halloween this year? Mm, February 2nd. I thought that was Groundhog's Day. What? They combined Halloween with Groundhog's Day? Oh, Dr. Dana says it's all the same. So get yourself the closest Groundhog and start celebrating. Um, how about a porcupine? Even better. Doc Dana says happy Hollow Hog Day to you. Problem solved. Next caller. What are you doing? Dr. Dana says stop, Dana. Yeah, Dana. Leave Dr. Dana alone. Dana's acting kind of funny. Should we take her to the nurse's office or something? Problem solved. Next caller. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this hobby business is a complete disaster. Uh, Dr. Dana? Dr. Dana, you're on the air. Oh, these hobbies aren't working out. What should I do with my free time now? I know. Dr. Dana says you should... Ask Miss Mush to marry you. Hmm, marriage. Never tried that before. But it might be fun! Gotta get you to the nurse! <laughs> hmm, not bad. But your toe tails need more action. Can you add a wrestling scene? <laughs> Dr. Dana says, more, more, more! Yeah! Problem solved! Hey, Miss Mush. We need the school nurse. Aha! Uh -huh. No problem! Hmm, what's wrong with her? Tell her, Dana. <laughs> oh, she lose voice! I fix. I just need few ingredients. I'll be back. <laughs> Dr. Dana, should I go to France or Fiji? Neither. Dr. Dana says it's time to fulfill your dream of being a trapeze artist. Problem solved. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful idea. <laughs> I hope you're right, Dr. Dana! Dana, what have you done? Ah! Dr. Dana now says I should start hitting Todd again. Harder! Daddy, look out! Your advice stinks, Dr. D. Special fix and stew ready! 
It clear throat. Voice come back. Miss Mush, you are so... <laughs> well, you're cooking. Now that's... Not much there either. Hey, I know. Miss Mush, you are so great with the whatchamacallits. Wait, I can't stand those little people. We have nothing in common. Hey, Kidski, what here are you for? I do not want to marry you. I no want to marry you either. Oh, you want to eat now? No! <laughs> my, my, my voice! Wow, thanks, Miss Mush. See, I tell you, it fixed everything. Everything? Dr. Dana says, problem solved. Next caller. Okay, do your stuff, stuff. Dr. Dana says, enough with the Dr. Dana. Wow, you can speak. Yes, and this is what I have to say. The Dr. Dana show has officially been canceled. Please ignore any advice you have received. And just think for yourself, people. Thank goodness that's over with. This hobby stuff is taking up all my free time. Better get back to work. What? The show's canceled? You can't do that. I'm going to help, and nothing's going to stop me! Oh. Class, what's wrong with Myron? Oh, he lost his voice yelling, but he asked me to speak for him. And Myron says... He'd like to demonstrate his trapeze skills. Oh, he can borrow mine. Myron also says he needs a little help here. Hmm, let's see. Oh, yeah, Myron says he'd like to express himself more. While wearing a basket on his head. Happy Hollow Hog Day! Now that's a problem solved. <laughs>